During homecoming week for Geneva High School, WDHN's Mike Gerspan reports that law enforcement is being proactive when it comes to preventing any student pranks, which could result in public damage. On Sunday night, one or more persons would toilet paper many of the trees along Commerce Street in downtown Geneva. In addition, several businesses also got rolled. Geneva police say if the business owner does not mind, that's fine. But it's a different story if the property owner doesn't want that activity at their house or business. What we ask is the students that's going to get out, you know, we know you're going to do your toilet paper. And please be respectful for people that, that may not want to have this done in their yards and, and don't, don't want to have, have this happen because it, it, if they do turn it in, it is a crime. It's littering if, if you're in people's yards and they don't want you there. Keeping his fingers crossed, Geneva County Sheriff Tony Helms says that he hopes that none of the pranks will escalate to the point where it creates public damage or other issues. In years past, the prank would become criminal. There were cases when frozen eggs would be thrown at homes and vehicles causing damage. Several years ago, there was a case where students threw flour at moving vehicles causing several near accidents. Fun is fun uh, until you've hurt somebody or caused somebody financial pain. So um, we just want them to think about that. And, uh, you know, it's uh, a lot of people don't want their houses, toilet paper. They don't want eggs thrown at them. They don't want eggs thrown at their cars either. That's criminal mischief. Geneva police held several school forums advising students to use a little common sense before rolling a tree on private property. Do it only if the homeowner doesn't mind. Reporting in Geneva, Mike Gerspan, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.